Back to the uh, final segment of uh, this uh, section of uh, the show for the morning, and we're talking about the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria, and this, of course, is part one of uh, that uh, report. And uh, we have with us the ambassador uh, from uh, the uh, state of Nigeria, who has given us some excellent information in reference to uh, the country itself. And now what we'd like to do is to talk about uh, his mission to the United States. And of course, Dr. Edgy, let's uh, see if we can have you to uh, talk about uh, your mission. Well, well, my mission to the United States is not different from that typical of ambassadors. Mm -hmm. An ambassador to a country is supposed to represent the interests of his own country in, in his country of accreditation. Mm -hmm. In my case, United States of America. And I'm supposed to, I'm expected to promote good relations mm -hmm between my country and the United States, uh, be it in areas of commerce, in areas of culture, in areas of diplomacy, and also to, uh, because we are a developing country and the U.S. is the uh, most powerful nation in the world, uh, most endowed, mm -hmm. um, to see the way in which I, I, sh I can relate to the United States government in a way to help achieve our developmental aspirations. Mm -hmm. uh, to start with, there are quite a number of um, uh, the, the, I always say there's a commonality and a conviviality of interest mm -hmm. between Nigeria and the United States. Mm -hmm. First, the United States is the, is the country where you have the largest concentration of Nigerians outside Nigeria. Mm -hmm. and, um, we, and Nigeria as a country is of strategic interest to the United States. First, one out of, with a population of 150 million, mm -hmm. one out of every five Africans is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. One out of every nine black persons in the world mm -hmm. is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And Nigeria is the fourth largest supplier of crude oil mm -hmm. to the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there are in, in, in the United States, there are over one million of Americanized Nigerians. That is, mm -hmm. people who were born in Nigeria mm -hmm. and have taken over the American, they've lived here enough, mm -hmm. uh, acquired American passport, and are contributing very positively to the economic development of the United States. So there is that community of interest. Mm -hmm. And I do know that uh, in the United States, the United States officials recognize the strategic importance of Nigeria because with that kind of population, that kind of strategic importance, and the U.S. being the leading nation in the world, the only superpower, America has taken it upon himself the, the task of ensuring there's peace and security in the world. If there has to be peace and security in the world, there has to be peace and security. Peace, there has to be peace and security in Africa, mm -hmm. and if there has to be peace and security in Africa, mm -hmm. that peace and security mm -hmm. must start mm -hmm. from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. That what the United States government has recognized, and do we also recognize? And that explains the the very good nature of relations that do exist between Nigeria and the United States. That was started since when I came, and before I came, there were some problems, but. Um, now the United States government, with the advent of President Goodluck Jonathan, mm -hmm. they know that Nigeria, Nigeria now has purposeful leadership. Mm -hmm. A leadership that is responsive and responsible. Mm -hmm. A leadership that is willing and able. A leadership that's, that's prepared to tackle the fundamental problems of the country mm -hmm. and create a Nigeria which will be of immense, uh, of immense usefulness mm -hmm. to the United States. So we, we enjoyed very good relations and my job has been to to cement that relationship with that do exist between Nigeria and the United States. Also, even in a strategic and foreign policy objectives, mm -hmm. there's a mutuality of interest. Mm -hmm. Nigeria and the US, we want a country, we want a world rather, a world that is free of nuclear proliferation, mm -hmm. a world that is free of terrorism, mm -hmm. and a world in which the principle of democracy, human rights, mm -hmm. rule of law, D dominate and a world in which which features more of consultation cooperation as distinct from co mm -hmm. co confrontation mm -hmm. and that's why our purpose and we work towards that Nigeria for instance with the with the actors of the US we are we are one of the largest contributor mm -hmm. of peacekeeping forces mm -hmm. to, to, oh, to mm -hmm. the United Nations mm -hmm. we and we have been we have been very much in agreement with the US mm -hmm. on major policy issues in recent times we were with them on the issue of uh, Iran nuclear non-proliferation mm -hmm. agreement. We were with them on the issue of um, of, Li of uh, Libya, the issue of no-fly zone. So we have we cooperate at the UN mm -hmm. to achieve similar global objectives of a world that is.
peaceful, secure, and ordered. Mm -hmm. And so that, and, uh, part of my object is to promote that mm -hmm. and to promote the economic uh, development between the United States and, uh, and Nigeria. First, and there have been very concrete ways in which we have made this possible. First, we have what we call, we have signed what we call, what is called a binational commission agreement with the United States of America. A binational commission agreement is the highest level of strategic cooperation that can exist between two countries. The Obama administration has signed that agreement only with the, Niger with the government of Nigeria. And there are four major components of that. First one is, uh, we call it uh, uh, governance, uh, governance, transparency, and integrity, mm -hmm. called GTR.